Welcome back. Let's have a look at that developing story concerning Shaka Hula. And as the case against controversial preacher Paul McKenzie continues, relatives of his missing followers continue agonizing and pleading for the release of those under incarceration and locating the missing ones. Most of Mackenzie's followers were from Western Kenya. KTN News spoke to them and they claim they have depleted their resources looking for their kin and now a cloud of pain and uncertainty continues to hang on their heads. Alan Ochande with that report. We get to Tabitha Muhangu's home in Shisasari village in the outskirts of Kakamega town. Since the lifting of the lid on controversial preacher Paul Mackenzie underworld dealings, the mother of five has known no peace. Her three sons were part of Mackenzie's followers. The three boys will disappear without a trace, only for one a trained teacher to come back. One is under police custody, and the third one's whereabouts remain unknown to date. After one week, the Mojaga, Akapatekana, Akakuja, and Yakako Mabasa Akamele, Akamaleta. Sasa mwingine na yako police station. Sasa huwa wana serikali wanasema tu anatoka, wanaenda kotini, tarehe fulani wana anatoka. Sasa hiyo siku ikifika unasikia wamesongesha, wamesongesha. Sasa ndio naomba tu serikali ikipenda release tu huyo mtoto mwenye anaitwa Kevin Msalakani. Areje tu huko nyumbani. Na huyo mwingine mwenye anaitwa James, washukulike wajue mahali aliko kwa sababu sijapata report yako mahali fulani. Tabitha a widow says since her husband's death the boys were her only support system, only for Mackenzie to come between them, causing her emotional torture. She says upon her son's return, she engaged him, but he claims he has no clear recollection of how he ended up among Mackenzie's flock in Shakahola Malindi. Mm. She says she saw her incarcerated son for the first time on television and hopes he will soon come back home and continue with his normal life. Sisi ni poa mamba tu kwa taifu. Tunge wamo tu sirikali ya Kenya itusaidie ili ata mmoja wetu aendu kwa Mombasa, afika ata kama ni kwa Mojari, afika ata kama ni kwa sel ili tuone na tunachukua tunachukua mmoja ndio yako kwa sel na huyu mwingine atuchampata so hata atuchui yako wapi angai hai ama amekufa so tunaomba tu serikali tusaidie ili tunafuesa fika Mombasa hata kama ni kwa mmoja tutuangalie hata kama ni kwa polisi tufika hapo tujue wako wote wako Tabitha's tribulations mirrors those of Zakayo Abonde who lives in Lurambi. Zakayo is pained that his elder sister's whereabouts haven't been known to them for two years now. She left home to join the Good News International Church with the hope of a miracle from Mackenzie. News that things went south triggered them to sell a cow to enable them to travel to the coast. Lakini siku pata tadangu. Nikaenda nika penyo wengine walikuwa mapona kuokolewa. Nikaenda nika paka kwa manyumba penye walikuwa meishi. Lakini siku pata tadangu. Lakini nimete, nilitembea mambasa. Nilaluko, nilienda huko maratatu. Nia yote ni pesa ya nilikuwa natumia. Nilikuwa nimeosa, nimeosa ngombe elfu stini. Lakini ilishia kwa njia. Hata mii nia shangaa. Hui tadanga atapalitikana kweli. Mii nia shangaa sirigari. Kwele, munatifanya vizuri. Nyingi kama sirikari. Nalia, nalia tadangu. In Shakahola, he says he met thousands of devastated people hoping to get their loved ones alive. His efforts, his sad, born of fruits. Nilifika malindi, nikashukulika mara kwa polisi, mara kwa saiti, mara kwa hospitali, lakini, hata ni wakafanya TNA, Siku pata ya matokea tangu hiyo mwezi mwezi wa ine serikali imenyamaza tu the two families tribulations are just a manifestation of the emotional torture Mackenzie's victim skins are going through they say yes their relatives fell for the sect it is the role of security apparatus to avert such happenings alano chanda ktn news let's take you to the